Hello, welcome to another tutorial on QBasic. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at the rules for declaring valid variable names. So let's get started. Open your QBasic application because we are going to use QBasic to verify these rules. So QBasic is open. You can save the file. I'm going to save it in this particular folder. So I'm going to name it rules and then I'll hit OK. So the first rule is that when declaring variable names, the first letter or the first character should be an alphabet. So if I should if I want to declare a variable name called first name. I can write it like this first name okay the first character has to be an alphabet which is F in this case so instead of writing first name if I should write it first name then it will be invalid that is why QBasic has what a red line highlighting it so the first rule is that when declaring a variable name, the first character has to be an alphabet. After the alphabet, you can bring a number or a digit. Let's say you can declare a variable as number one. This is totally valid because QBasic doesn't care if you bring a number anywhere in the variable name, but the beginning or the first character must be an alphabet so for example we have a variable called oh first name is equals to victor now you understand why i'm appending the dollar sign because the variable is a string okay so i can assign another one h can be 10 okay this is also another variable so that's the first rule always start variable names with a what an alphabet the second rule is that when declaring variable names never separate them with a space the second rule is never separate variable names space for instance if i wanted to declare a variable called first name i shouldn't type first space name and then i'll type um lucas this will give me an error okay so don't leave space in your variable names if you want to by any case separate them you can use an underscore okay you wouldn't get an error but never leave space that is the second rule okay now the third rule is that reserved words or keywords in QBasic cannot be used as variable names for example you cannot declare a variable name as print so you can say print is equals to 10 it will give you an error because the print word is used by QBasic for something. So the third rule is that reserved words cannot be used as variable names. Okay. Now the fourth rule is that the fourth rule is that when you are declaring a variable name which is a string append a dollar sign after so a dollar sign is appended onto a string variable an example is last name so you just say 
last name, you have to append a dollar sign because last name, which is, let's say this is your last name, is a string. And whenever it's a string, you need to append the dollar sign. If you don't do it, you get an error. Okay. The last rule is that some special characters should not be included in a variable name. Some special characters should not be included in a variable name. They are not permitted. Example is you can have a variable name as h at is equal to 30. This at is a special uh, symbol or a special character. So you can't use it to declare a variable name. Another special character is this exclamation point. Okay. Another special character is a sign like this. You can't use it when declaring a variable name. So to be on the safer side, don't use these special characters when declaring your variable name. Okay. So this brings us to the end of this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.